Charles Casey Stengel, baseball player and manager for more than half a century, died of cancer today at Glendale, California. He was 85, but his spirit never grew old. Morton Dean reports. Stengel was an entertainer. He loved a crowd, and the crowd loved him. They loved him when he was a big winner with the Yankees, 10 pennants, seven World Series, an unequaled record for a manager. And they loved him when he was a big loser with the Mets. Who was the best manager he ever saw? I was the best manager I saw, said Stengel. I tell that to people to shut them up quickly and also because I believe it. He was a character who gave up dentistry for baseball. I was a left-handed dentist who made people cry, he explained, but my mother loved my work. His fractured conversational English was to the listener what the screwball is to the hitter, impossible to fathom. Stengalese, it was called. I want to thank everybody that did something for me and the tremendous fans that I never was hurt where I was laid up too long, that thought so much and went over to New York City and turned for the New York Mets and our organization in the last two years. We turned to the public and we appreciate every girls group, every boys group and every poem and every song and I'm also the attendance and keep going to see the Mets. <laughs> One of Stengel's former players, Phil Rizzuto, said today, I never thought death would ever get Casey Stengel. I thought he'd talk him out of it. Morton Dean, CBS News, New York. And that's the way it is. Tuesday, September 30th, 1975. This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News. Good night.